G'day mate, welcome back to The Expendables with me, GD. So, in our previous episode, in our previous episode, we got a few things done. One, we were having a little bit of a, I wouldn't call it a food crisis, I call it a small hunger strike due to the lack of food. Um, so last episode, we went and play, planted a whole lot more meal, like a lot of it. Um, like a lot, a lot of it. Uh... Yeah, there, there was some fairly extreme mealwood planting going on. On top of that, we also came down here and we made a little mushroom farm. little mushroom farm to hopefully uh, appease the duplicates' hunger. In saying that, we do have 14 duplicates already. And due to the insane amount of, well, uh, manual labor required to deal with crops, uh, we don't have a lot of free duplicate labor. We also managed to demolish this tiny little biome over here to try and get ourselves just a few mushrooms to get our farm started. This episode, this episode, planning on doing a couple of things. First thing we're going to be doing is, well, demolishing this slime biome, because we found a cool slash geyser right beside a gold volcano, and the best way to cool down hot gold is with a cool slash geyser so this is going to be one of the first things we want to get up and running which also means we're going to demolish this biome um we're just going to take out the whole biome it's just the quickest way to deal with these things on top of that i have noticed we have a number of paku lying around and we have a couple of paku up here we have a couple of paku over here and i would really like to consolidate our paku now i don't really want to go through the hassle of capturing them Okay, it's just not worth my time. On top of that, I do want to keep them wild because I did notice that they now eat lots of seeds. Lots and lots of seeds. So what I want to do is I want to move them into this farm, uh, which is going to require a couple of things. Uh, the first thing it's going to require is a way for us to get them over here. So we're going to dig out the top four tiles across here. We're going to put in a base i'm also going to double up the strength of this wall just so i don't have any future puncher issues that i didn't really want to deal with um yes so we're going to double up this wall and this wall's already been doubled up on top of that that's off by tar uh, on top of that we're going to put a whole bunch of incubators um Literally, can we dig out the sand, please? Uh, dig. I hope that just takes out the sand and leaves a wild mill wood there. Uh, we're going to put in a whole bunch of... No, I'm not going to put in any incubators because I don't have any metal. We're going to put a bunch of incubators over here. And the idea is we'll put the eggs in here. And then eventually... Uh, eventually, it will be an eventual situation. Uh, the Paku will hatch and they'll just fall out into this water tank. At which point, you know we have free Paku meat. Uh, the other thing I'm going to have to do, uh, I really wish I had a sweep by type. Uh, we want to, actually, if I set this to, the only thing I want to sweep out of here really is the algae. That's the only thing I care about. So if we come in here and we go sweep by algae, uh, this is the only storage container that I have that is set for algae. So we should be able to come in here and, whoops, go sweep everything. And anything that is algae can be swept. Uh, sand can be swept as well because we have storage containers for sand and for coal. But everything else should just end up with a little red marker on it and can't be swept and therefore the duplicates will leave it alone. That's my hope. That's my plan. Uh, Yes, no, I still can't build any of those. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up this uh, Paku. We're going to double up the walls. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to, as I said, demolish this biome. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to build in some scaffolding and then every seven tiles, build in another row of scaffolding. Uh, I want to move... I want to put that... There. Uh, so every seven tiles we put in a row of scaffolding and the reason we do that is because duplicates from a ladder can reach up four tiles they can also reach down three tiles so if we put in scaffolding every seven tiles they can reach everything uh, we're going to put that one in there that one in there cancel that that all those uh, that row that row that row that row priorities we're going to make sure that both the ladders and the row above are a slightly higher priority 
it should lead to less less stuck duplicates i won't say no stuck duplicates because dupes are amazing and if there is a way to screw themselves over they will go about it uh, we're also going to dig out that tile and technically i could should sweep the algae out of here but it's just not going to happen um the plan is we should get all the get all the um the eggs moved across at which point they can't eat the algae anymore because we're still surviving on algae for our oxygen so you know i don't really want it all eaten just yet can i get more metal please no just one uh, same time, the other thing I really would like to work on this episode would be some automation. Because, like I said, we have a lot of manual duplicate labor. Like, a lot, a lot. Uh, can I copy that to there, please? And then drop the priority of that one down one. Uh, yeah, I, I, I want to get a lot more automation. Um, obviously, I would love to get... Uh, solid transport solid transport that's perfect um we do have a metatronics engineer that is only like one level away uh but i only found out like 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 just before this episode that conveyor receptacles now require material science research which requires material science no that's orbital uh material material science research which requires radiation so Yes, uh, conveyors became a whole lot more later again. Um, did somebody literally, oh, you, did, you peed on the, okay, cancel, mop, I'm talking here, and whilst I'm talking, you went peed all over the floor, cancel, mop it up first, smirk, oh, actually, I guess I should probably let you out. Fine, you're gonna build a way out no matter what. Mop. Pray nine, please. Please? There we go. Uh Exe! Exe who doesn't have a hat. Why don't you have a hat? Exe, 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 Exe. You do have a hat. You just haven't bothered to put on your hat. Well. Uh yeah, so Snow is one of our Medic Metatronics engineers. The other one is Ward! Ward. Uh, so hopefully Ward will level up fairly soon, become a mechatronics engineer. We should also... No, just two. Okay, fine. Uh, so with all that said, I think we're going to take this as our first spot. Because uh, this is the first place we have a project going. And wow, they waste no time. Uh, and there is our second spot. Uh, which requires a few more dignimans. And the biome continues. Uh, seven tiles? Seven tiles. So yeah, we're just going to demolish this high whole biome. Uh, that's mostly done. It's just waiting on the incubators, which is waiting on metal. Alright. is definitely a biome destroyed. Uh, yes, it also we've dumped all the water down the bottom, obviously, and we've already popped open the cool slash geyser, uh, cool salt slash what geyser, so we could start storing a little bit of liquid down here. We're going to, before the duplicates run too far away, we're going to set a nice priority seven or something, just dig that out real quick. Uh, yeah, now, uh, schedule-wise, schedule-wise, I did have to give them a little bit of an extra downtime slot. Uh, because they weren't quite making it all the way back to base. And getting to sleep. Yeah. Uh, or eat. Eat, mainly. They'd either eat or sleep. They couldn't do both in the same cycle. Uh, so, yeah, you had to go in there, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to pop open this. At the same time, we're going to analyze that one. Mystic's working on this one. Hopefully. Oh, Mystic, Mystic's done. We get five kilos. No, hang on. We get... Eruption period, uh, basically half over a little bit more than half. So I think that's good for 
two and a half kilos a second? Roughly, yeah. We had a couple of these. Starvation. And this is purely because skills. Athletics is, well, he's anemic to start with. Uh, which doesn't help. Yes. And we're so far away from base. Uh, same time. Oh. We finally have our very first stone hatchlings uh, arriving. So we're having our very first... Um, our very first incubator start to kick over. We also have managed to get uh, at least one fry egg down here. Uh, we we'll obviously have more stupid hatchlings. Uh, and in the background, we have got the research now for shipping lanes, which requires more refined metal. Of course it does. Uh, can I get another 50 of those, please? Uh, double time. So before we get anything else done, let's choose a new duplicate. I'd love shovels, actually. I'd really love some shovel legs. But um, we need to take on every duplicate for a Patreon first. So let's go with cooking and digging. Or cooking, which is useless, ranching and rocketry. But you're anemic. And electrical engineering, which has nothing to do with anything else. Or... Well, we're going to have another digger. Okay, so we're going to bring in... Silent Wolf, who is yet another digger. Now, unfortunately, I have far too many people. Far, far, far too many people in uh, digging and building. So we're going to put Silent Wolf straight into supply with uh, life support, with tiny. Um, it's, oh, and storage. And storage. Uh, in fact, XE did the exact same. We, we put them into storage as well. Uh, deliver store materials. Yeah, I missed that a few times. Uh, that one, that one. Uh, who's that? That's Nexus. We should be doing research on two bars. Panic. Uh, Ward. Okay. So, uh, where are we? We need to give you skills. Silent Wolf, unfortunately, going to go straight into carry. You don't want to have anything to do with carry, but carry is going to be your job, at least until we get our manpower organized. Uh, we're going to put you, who's that, Z Zentium, uh, into, oh, sorry, crop tending. That, that's the better one. Improve farming one, crop tending, improve farming two. That makes full sense. Yes. Okay. Uh, we have demolition. So now that means we can remove uh, gravitas, uh, gra gravitas buildings, which is going to be really, really handy. Uh, law is in critter ranching. In theory, you're doing some crop tending whenever you're not critter ranching, but we're about to expand the things. We have a Metatronics Engineer. Ward, welcome to the Metatronics Engineer team. We have so much work for you to do. Panic is one step, uh, step away, and Nexus can have uh, you, and we'll also give Mystic the radiation helmet, because, well, why not? All right, so with that done, uh, we're going to need to crunch up some more material, and we're going to start looking at some automation. Now, I don't have any way, unfortunately, of... Um, putting things into a container for the then... I can't ship things into a container and leave it into a container. The only thing I can do is ship it onto a ground, onto the ground. So we're going to get rid of some of these. Uh, yep, and what else I miss? Storage bin, automatic dispenser, shipping rails. Okay, so we're gonna put some conveyor rails from here to here. Oh, I'm also going to have to go into priorities and ward is now going to have two stars in building uh, because operating doesn't cover Metatronics engineer building items. And of course, ward is the only person that can build these, which is super uh, helpful. It also means he's also running around trying to do every other building task as well. Uh, yeah. Um, not happy about that small oversight by the devs. Uh, research. So we've done... We've bas basically been ticking myself, ticking off and just straight down, straight down the list. I have been prioritizing a few things because uh, we need to do something about some permanent oxygen production. Because uh, at the moment we're dealing with, well, not permanent oxygen production. Uh, okay, so... 
if I get... Alright, we need to look at a few things. We have plenty of food. So, if you are excluding the front door 25 tiles. So let's dig up all of those 25, 26 tiles. Okay, we're going to dig that out. Do I... It's the back of the room, so I don't really care. Uh, that's our one storage container, which we're going to move to... To... Here... Uh, we're sweeping out from in there. So let's put it there. We'll put two storage containers either side. Okay, so we're going to dig out all this. We're going to put in door, door, critter drop off, grooming station, critter feeder. It won't need a storage bin now? No. So this is going to be our new critter room, which needs to be 25 tiles. And needs to have a tile in the top corner. Uh, we can now shipping auto sweeper. I want an auto. I know. I want a loader. In there and there, and then shipping an auto sweeper in here. And I'm out of materials. Of course I am. Uh, power wire and wire in there. Plus, I'll need wire in there. And as soon as we can afford it... Uh, I can afford it. Okay, we're going to put another auto sweeper in there. Alright, so... This is going to be for... Stone hatchlings. Uh, and eventually stone hatches. Uh, probably seven. You are going to be fed... Uh, stone, 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 stone... Stone hatch. Uh, I don't need to feed them sedimentary rock anymore, so we're going to feed them igneous rock. Uh, that is everything. Uh, we're going to need a loader. <sighs> okay, rail. Uh, hang on, i got to work out. Oh, i got to build it. Uh, so the auto sweeper's got to go there. And loader. I can't build a loader either because that's also from refined metals. But it also means I can get rid of all of those if we're going over to automation. Uh, what else? Uh, fry egg. I'm going to have to keep checking these until I get all the fry eggs out. Or we work out somewhere where we can drop the fry eggs in and duplicates can't get in there to get, get them back out. Uh, copy settings from there to there, which now means I can deconstruct you. Uh, okay, you are going to be... Okay, you're going to be consumable ore, plus you're going to be uh, critter eggs. Yes. Uh... We can put that loader there. We can put that auto sweeper there. I still have room for a receptacle later. Uh, we need to power up from there to there. Uh, we also need shipping rails. I'm actually going to bring that to there. And copy paste. Uh, okay, so this has stone hatch and stone hatchlings. Uh, also means I can now take these up to eight critters because they can support eight now because we're going to get rid of the eggs straight away. Uh, auto wrangle at eight. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, we could put in a door and a door and a roof over those tiles because uh, there's going to end up with a lot of hatchlings and hatches and other hatchables in here. Uh, can I... I can't really sweep the egg. Um, what's the best way to move that egg? Uh, actually, the best way to move that egg is put it in 
one of these incubators. Uh, sweet. Prey 9. Anything? Any duplicates want to come and grab this egg? Not really. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to put down a storage container. Okay, so, with that one cleared out, we're going to do the exact same here. I'm going to clear this one out. Also means we can get access to these sweetles. A I... Hang on, do I want to have that... So, Sweetles will speed up plant growth. Uh, no, you know what? We're going to copy that from there to there before I forget whilst I'm just looking at it. I'm going to put that there because I think I can capture Sweetles. Yes, I can. Okay, so we're going to move Sweetles and here and we'll put them in the kitchen. Uh, because why not? Uh, they can play with the mealwood that's already in the kitchen. Because that mealwood we're probably going to hold on to for quite some time. Uh, yeah, this this I'd love to automate as well. In fact, I'd love to automate the farms. But we just we don't have all the required tech. Okay, so we want critter egg sweep only. Uh, I want to deconstruct uh, all of them. And, okay, we're going to set you to be Sweetles, and we're going to set you guys up to be thrown into the kitchen. Alright, we're also going to set up Sweep. Uh, mainly the eggs. And this is still set to sweep before any pack you get there. Not that anybody's actually sweeping it. Ah, the other thing I want is shipping. I want auto sweeper in here, which should fix our, uh, our well, one of our power problems. Uh, the other power problem we have is we just don't have nearly enough power. Uh, so we need to put in a power transformer right there, which is going to bring. Heavy wire, oh, a wire in, no, that's wire out. Yes, like that. And then we're instantly going to short circuit the network, are we? Not quite, we need one more wire. Alright, so, now that's automatically going to be fed with coal. Uh, which is one less thing, come on. Uh, short circuit, done. Okay, so that's going to now limit this to one kilowatt worth of power only. We can't blow up the wire from using too much power now. So at least that's something. Uh, we're going to sweep priority nine. All of those eggs. Uh, can I set you to be priority nine as well? Because I just want all the eggs moved across quickly. And then I can empty it onto the ground. Uh, you're set up to do consumable ore and critter eggs. So, they're all fine. They're going to all support eight now. Uh, okay, so that does that problem. We're going to turn you off. We're going to put in a... Uh, a critter drop-off. And then we should... Should be able to set you to... So, auto wrangle one. Yes, that way they should be available to be put into the other stables. Should be able to. We're going to set you to be just hatches and hatchlings. You, hatches and hatchlings. Stone hatches have a new home now. Uh, and I'm guessing somebody already brought the hatchling. I know he's over there sleeping. Okay. Uh, I, I think I need to set that to all. Hence, that is okay. Max. Zero critters. Storing two out of zero critters. It says pen status okay. 
Hmm. Okay. Alright. Uh, research, research, research. We need to grab... What do we need to grab? What do we need to grab? We need to grab... Uh, everything sort of from this point on requires material research. Uh, so I guess we're going to start on the material research. It also means... Uh, you've got a fry egg in theory. Uh, where's the sweetle egg? Over there. Uh, and we have a wild sweetle wandering around over here. Uh, can we just capture you? I think that's going to be the easiest answer for now. Just move the sweetles over here by capturing them. They'll tend to the sweetle treaty. Tending, there we go. Get an extra f plus five percent. Uh, growth speed, which, like, 5% for nothing? Can't argue with it. Uh, why do you have no power? Oh, we are maxing out our grid, aren't we? Oh, no. We went and dropped some soil onto the coal generator. Okay. We need to have a new dupe. Have a new dupe. Always a new dupe. Uh, supplying. Cool. We actually got something we want. Um, we're going to welcome Lynch to the colony. Who is going to be the linchpin of our supply missions? Uh, we need to throw you straight into well, a new and silent wolf uh, into number four. Uh, we can also skills uh, lynch is going to go into improved carry with the pretty carry hat. Uh, that one there. Uh, Zeltium, we put in a farming and crop tending. Okay. Uh, Saran. Hazmat digging? Mm. That only gives them the ability to dig better. That doesn't actually give them any extra excavation. So we're going to leave that for the moment. Uh, Navy can go into demolition because that actually gives them some extra skills. Lions improve farming, obviously. You can have the cool farming hat. I'd like the, the farming hat's are pathetic. Uh, law, we were leaving. Fry guy, really tempted, but in theory he's meant to get medical as well, so we'll leave him. Uh, Essie, who refuses to put on a hat, doesn't matter what I do. Um, can get the next crop tending hat. Uh, Carpe DM who is meant to be in construction anyway. Uh, give him a construction hat, and that's going to be everybody. Now, what do we need to do next? What do we need to look at next? Well, what we need to do is we need to start planning for the next uh, episode. So this episode is pretty much done. There's nothing else the dupes can do apart from sweep up this giant mess down here, uh, which in theory, if I don't give them any orders, they'll all get to. They, they, they need to play a bit of a catch-up. We need to fill up this critter feeder. Hmm. And I think I want one extra tile. Yeah, I want one extra tile for the storage bin. I'm going to need a dedicated storage bin, just because I don't have any way currently of putting in a auto... Oh, really, Hatch? Thank you, Hatch. Okay. Uh, all. Yeah, I probably should have done that a while ago. Uh, what don't I want? I don't want uh, raw mineral. Uh, what are we feeding them? We're feeding them in this rock, right? In this rock. Uh, oh, you're just going to put it up there where they're going to eat it instead. <sighs> that was pointless. Uh, let's turn that off. Uh, let's just copy from there to there. Uh, okay, we're going to have to sweep. <sighs> All except credit X. Sweep that into there. Uh, same story, I need to sweep 
all of that. Yeah, I don't want to leave the, the, the metal on the ground because the hatches will eat it. Uh, yes, plus we need to sweep out this. So, dupes are going to have a, a little bit of work to do between episodes, so I'm going to let them catch up a little bit because we haven't been kind to them, let's be honest. Uh, at the same time, we have analysed that. That's doing... Uh, good question. It's doing some amount of gold. Uh, see all gold. Actually, we've got 800 kilos already. That's not bad. Uh, it probably means... What are you doing? Are you picking up some polluted dirt? Okay. And we're picking up sedimentary rock. We're, we're, the dupes have many, many tasks to do. Uh, but it does mean power, conductive wire... Uh, yeah, it does mean I can probably start having them upgrade some of the wiring in the base. Uh, so I'm going to leave the dupes to get some of these tasks done. I will see you guys in the next episode. As always, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And can you do me a favor? Uh, can you say hi to your mum for me? All right, that's it. We're out. Thanks for watching. Bye.